So I'm going to attempt to do this. I don't know if this is going to work because um, I'm charging my car while working. And so this may or may not work. Let's find out. I've got my phone obviously kind of propped up against the dashboard. So this is why I don't know if this is going to work. I might not keep the video of my face, but whatever. Anyway, to our analysis of the day. This one's a little bit nastier than some of the other ones that we have been looking at, or if you're in my class. If you're not in my class and you're watching these videos, kudos to you for doing music theory on your free time. I've been talking to my students about the importance of being able to do these types of analyses quickly. So I'm going to do this as fast as I can, partly because my car will be done charging in 20 minutes and partly because I don't want to sit here for a thousand years and do this. I'm assuming you don't want to do that either. Okay, starting off, we are in what looks like F major to me. First thing I'm going to do just to kind of clear my head is go through and find all of the one chords. Because if I find all of the one chords, it gives me kind of a sense of stability. One, uno, I have depleted my knowledge of foreign languages. Hello. Median relationship. One and one. So by finding so many stable one chords, not to mention, especially since I have a CAD 6-4, it's very obvious that I stay in F might modulate in the middle and then come back, but I have a feeling that I'm not doing that. I have a feeling that this is just staying in F. Zoom in right here, got another CAD 6-4, interessant. 6-4, 2, 5, 3, makes sense if we've had a lot of deviation from our key, although this isn't a lot of deviation, it's a fair amount, but not a terrible amount. Then we want to reestablish that key. <laughs> I'm talking through the spokes of my, my wheel like I'm an old lady. I'm an old lady. Okay, so I have G sharp, which is interesting. Is this a decorative diminished seven chord? It's kind of what it looks like. Let's collect the pitches and find out. So I've got F, Fi, because I've got the B natural. I also have a G sharp. And the only way for that to sit comfy is G sharp, B, implied D, and then F. All of that looks like a seven of three, but it doesn't, ooh, it doesn't go there. G sharp B D is a diminished triad, of course. G sharp up to F double sharp, it's a yeah, yeah, mm hmm. This is a decorative diminished seven. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this as diminished seven because that's all I have to do, which is kind of glorious. And then we go to a one six. So, really, I should label this as a passing. Is it passing? No, it's pedal. It's pedal. This is a pedal diminished seven. So. Before we go to a could not be any more boring four chord, lovely. Before we go to a minor four, noise. Before going to one. <laughs> okay, wait. No, no. I was thinking, oh my god, I actually found a Phrygian half cadence in the wild, but for a half cadence, it has to be five at the end, which is why we call it half cadence. I'm gonna shut up. And it looks like that same exact common tone, or not common tone, it's not a modulation. But that pedal diminished seven comes back before going to another one six. So then we've got a. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna love this. This entire measure is the. <laughs> we've had this happen once in class this semester. So for my current students, it's not that unfamiliar. So hold thy horses. Okay, so we have a five, six, four, two, five, three of. Five going to five seven where it resolves to the one. Yeah, this is a great example of how the cadential six four is not two separate things, it's one thing, it's one harmonic device. That entire thing, you could call it a temporary tonicization. I don't really think it's a temporary tonicization, it's not it's not long enough, and it's resolving to that five seven, which is gonna reiterate our original key. So I think that's just an applied dominant. The fact that it's quote unquote two chords doesn't really matter so much because remember the cadential 6-4 is a single dominant entity. Moving on. And there you are again, you pedal diminished seven you. And I'm assuming a lot of this is just basically going to follow the same pattern. Oh, pattern broke. I'm gonna follow the same pattern. Oh, pattern broke. So this is now a three, six, A, C sharp, E natural noise. And so that would be a five, of six, but it looks like it doesn't actually go to six. That's annoying. So this is another one of those places where working backwards will be really, really helpful. So again, we have, ooh, wait a minute. 
Ooh, that pedal diminished seven is not acting like a pedal anymore. It's passing now. And then I've got a G, B, D, P, S, K. I did it again, didn't I? Yep, I did. I really need to get my brain in order. <laughs> okay, so obviously a G, B, D, it's not three, six, it's two, six. I'm really, I'm just gonna give the degree back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get another one. Go back to school where things are graded for you. <laughs> Although it doesn't resolve and we have the thing now. We have the thing. Big three because it's just a chromatic alteration because we can do that now. Yeah, about that. Okay, so then that just goes back to, so that's kind of a violation of harmonic syntax because we sh two should go to five, two should not go to three. Although this is kind of a neighbor chord, but the thing that would work against calling it a neighbor chord is its duration. You hang on to it for quite some time. I really can't think of anything else though because this goes back exactly to that exact same chord with the exact same voicing for the two six. So this is like just momentary color. It's not functional. That would be the violation of harmonic syntax, but that's what it would feel like. And I'm making that assumption because I'm in my car and not my office. So I don't have my piano in front of me <laughs> to be able to play it, to confirm. Sometimes we don't have that option, especially in a school situation. So, all right, today's analysis, cars up to 153 miles. I can get home on that. Adiós.